Heidi asks, and this is in response to the verse of the week, talking about the resurrection. I must have said that heaven is temporal in there. Heidi said, could you explain what you mean by looking forward to heaven, but heaven is temporary, and we will look forward to the new body and new life forever with God? I thought when I go to heaven, I will experience this all. It makes it sound like heaven is a waiting room for a real eternal life to begin. I'm obviously confused by your statement. Thanks for any f clarification you can give. Thanks, Heidi. Let me draw you a picture. We are created by God uh, as body and soul combined together. So uh, when, when we are conceived, uh, from the very moment of conception, we are soul and body, etc. And this goes along quite well until the day that we die. And at the moment of death, what happens is the unnatural rending of the soul and the body. So the soul, let's draw it like this, goes to be with the Lord in heaven. That's what we normally call heaven. And, and really, I mean, just to maybe come over here, remember that there's three ways that the Bible talks about heaven, first, second, and third heaven. And so you have the bird heaven, that's the sky. You have the star heaven, that's the universe. And then you have the throne of God heaven, that's the, 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 it's a different sort of dimension. It's all around us in every place, etc. And this is the heaven that we're talking about when we die. Our soul goes to the face of Jesus. Our body, on the other hand, goes to the grave or to the ocean or whatever. And that state continues. It's what's called by the theologians the intermediate state until Jesus comes back to judge the quick and the dead and so forth. So let's draw... A picture of Christ. Oh, remember how I got in trouble for drawing the chi rho? That's the chi, that's the Greek letter C-H, and that's the rho, that's the R, the first two letters of Christ. So that's what we draw. When Jesus comes back, what will happen is the resurrection of the body, and that means our souls and our bodies are joined back together as they were in the beginning, and then we enter into the eternal state, what the Bible calls the new heaven and the new earth. And this is how we live forever. Now, um, a couple of things. We want to note that it's at this point... Let me get some colors here. Whenever we die, our soul is perfected. And, and so our soul is purified. Our body is not. Our body is still corrosive and corruptive until the resurrection and then our body will also be purified and made holy so we'll have a pure and holy body and soul unable to die get sick or anything else like that into the eternal state so when we die and go to heaven that's just for a little bit uh, while we wait for the resurrection now there's a the sad thing and oh and so to maybe kind of um, highlight the point is that this thing here this condition of our soul existing before the Lord, the Bible says very little about, but we see the Lord face to face, we're with him in bliss and so forth, so it's a point of perfection, but it's also a time of waiting. For example, we see the souls of those beheaded for the gospel under the altar in Revelation saying, how long, O Lord? So even when we're with the Lord Jesus in heaven, our soul is there in heaven, we're still waiting to be body and soul forever. And this resurrection is often forgotten, but it's it's uh, one of the most important parts of the Bible, that we believe in the resurrection of the body. Now, let's, to, to, to clarify this and to, and to drive it home is that your tomb, which is where you are here, your tomb will be as empty as the tomb of Jesus. Your body, this body that's laid into the grave, will be raised and perfected, and you'll live before the Lord forever as body and soul. Now, we do have the sad fact to talk about that there are those who do not believe in Jesus, and when they die, their soul and bodies are also separated, but their souls go to what we normally call hell, place of the dead, and they also will be raised. Remember, John 5, talks, Jesus talks about the resurrection to life and the resurrection to death, but instead of living before the Lord in the new heaven and the new earth, the place that the Bible speaks of here is called the lake of fire. It's the eternal destruction of of those who um, who uh, fight the the Lord and His mercy and uh, want to live up, apart from Him, those who are condemned uh, because of their unbelief and because of their sin, so there is a resurrection even to destruction 
which the Bible teaches as well. So this is what we want to uh, we want to clarify is that the, this unnatural rending of soul and body uh, is unnatural, and on the last day, soul and body of all people will be back together. Now, again, I keep saying one more thing. This idea, there is an idea, and it's the Gnostic idea that things simply stop here. That once your body and soul are separated, they're never to be joined again. But that is not a Christian idea. We again confess the resurrection of the body. All right. Hope that's a helpful uh, answer uh, to your question. Thanks for the question. You have more? Send them in. God be praised.